Hey Cahaba friends, welcome to, welcome back to school. Holy smokes, we're already here. It's, it's August, okay. And welcome back to the library. Guess what? You get to walk in the actual library and check out books on your own. Ah, how exciting. We're so excited to have people back here. It's been a lonely place last year, so tickled pink. All right, now, but we're rusty. We, some of us haven't been in the library in what, 18 months. So we're going to need to uh, get a little refresher on what this looks like and how you do it. So Flex Checkout. This is all about Flex Checkout. Flex Checkout is when you're coming by yourself or with a buddy, um, when you're not coming with your whole class. So this is when you need to get a book and your teacher lets you come to the library on your own. So this is what we're talking about today. So when is Flex Checkout? Flex Checkout is every day after announcements and then uh, Flex Checkout is over 15 minutes before dismissal. So on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, that's going to be 2.45. On Thursdays, that's 1.45. So that's when we close. Um, so that's Flex Checkout hours. Now, um, what do you need to bring to Flex Checkout? Well, you need to bring a buddy because remember, whenever we travel places by ourselves, we have a buddy with us. You need to bring a buddy and you need to bring a lunch tag. We're going to use that to help us check out books this year. And as long as it's school policy, bring a mask. Now, if you have found a library book over the summer while you're cleaning out your closet, if you have that, please bring that and check that in to us as well. So you need those things to check in, uh, to check out a new book. And um, let's see, how many, let's talk about logistics. How many books can I check out at a time? I get to check out two books, two books. So you get to check out two books at a time. And when you check in a book, if you check in one book, then you'll get to check out one book. If you uh, bring back both of your books, then you get to check out two more books. So it's like a little exchange thing there. Um, if you don't bring back any books and you have two books checked out to you, then you don't get to check out any books. All right, so bring them back. We, we exchange books here in the library. Um, now, I've had some people ask because last year we used the reserve system and some people really liked it. So um, we're going to keep that around for you guys. If you want to go in and reserve books, then that's available to you. Now, keep in mind, we also have students coming in, checking out books, so um, it may be a little slower process than it was last year, but we're going to do our best to get you those reserved books. I'll talk more about that process when you come to library for a library class um, in the next couple of weeks and just to remind you guys how it all works and, and how to get to the reserved books. But right now, you, need, you, you know what you need to know, so when do you come to Flex Checkout? You come between uh, announcements, uh, you come after morning announcements, and then it closes 15 minutes before dismissal. You need to bring your lunch tag, you need to bring a buddy, and you need to bring a mask as long as it's school policy. And how many books do you get to check out? Two at a time. How many books do you get to reserve at a time? Two. So um, Keep watching because I'm going to walk through a little tutorial about how you actually check out books once you're in the library, We're talking about our library procedures, and hopefully you guys can get in and we'll um, let your teacher know when Flex Checkout will open and you guys can come back to the library. We're so excited you get to come back and we cannot wait to see you and, um, and enjoy reading those books and getting your hands on those books on the library shelves. So, see you later. So I am here and ready to check out my book. I'm gonna walk you through the steps of checking out a book if you come with your buddy during flex time. So let's say that you have a book that you would like to check in. You're going to scan the barcode, which is located on the back of the book. You're gonna scan it under the barcode scanner, just like you would if you're checking out at Walmart or Target. And then whenever you hear the little bell, you know that you have checked it in correctly and you just place your book on the top shelf of the check-in bin. After that, get a little hand sanitizer. You have to do that before you can go in and check out books. And then come on over to the sign-in iPad where you're going to sign in. All you have to do is check beside your grade level. So if you're a second grader, you just check it, click submit, 
And then if you would just click the blue words so that it can get back to the sign-in screen. That's all you do there. Then you can browse the library. So if you are a buddy here and you do not need to check out a book, then you can have a seat at any of the locations in the library. You can pick the cushions, the bench, the bean bags, any of those places you can wait for your friend to check out their book. If you are here to check out a book, then here are the locations where you could go. And if you're interested in finding a nonfiction book, you're going to look along this long, tall wall on the left-hand side. If you are looking for any new books, you can find them located in this middle gray area. If you are looking for a picture book or an everybody book, you're gonna find those along the short wall at the end of the library. If you're looking for a fiction book that is also a chapter book, then you will look along this tall wall to your right. If you're looking for a bi biography, then you can check out the books on the back side of the new books. If you're looking for story collections or graphic novels, they are located right beside the biography books. Now let's say that you're ready to browse for a book in biography. Now instead of a shelf marker, we're gonna try a new strategy to help us keep our location of the book so that we can keep them in order. So what I'm gonna do is if I'm interested in looking at this book, where is the Taj Mahal, I'm gonna take the book beside it and I'm just gonna turn it over like that. That's gonna act as my place marker. Then I'm gonna pull out the book that I'm interested in and I can look at it. If I choose not to check out this book, I'm gonna place it back where my little placeholder is. And then I'm going to fix the book and just turn it right back around. So if I decide that I do want that book and I want to go to checkout, I will take make sure I have my lunch tag with me and walk over to the checkout desk where you will find Miss Shepherd. So you'll come over to the checkout area and you will um, display your lunch tag and she will scan your lunch tag and then she will scan your book. And then you are ready to, if your buddy is here sitting on the bing bags, quietly tell them that it's time to go and you can go back to class with your new library book.